Apple's Dynamic Island. A few weeks ago, I showed you some amazing tools that's integrated that really do utilize the Dynamic Island. In case you missed that video, it's right over there, but feel free to watch that at the end of this video. But in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and cover my top favorite dynamic apps that you definitely need to be aware of. And yes, uh, timestamps and everything else will be all in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's start off with the control bar. You see, I like music controls. And this app is a one-time purchase of a dollar, but it's totally worth it because if you see right here, this is the control dynamic island, right? If we start the activity, hit continue, our music is playing, right? But if you look closely at the dynamic island, there's a new icon because if you long hold, you have quick music volume control right here, as well as a skip forward 60 seconds or go back 60 seconds. And this is all fully customizable. And it not only works on Apple Music, Spotify, it also works on YouTube too. Any media you're playing, ideal for like podcast listening as well. So if I click on this first video I selected and we get exit out of here, just move this to the side. Long at Dynamic Island allows me to quickly adjust the audio go forward or go back and it works extremely well and then if I launch the actual app itself which once more it's called control bar I'll have a link in the description down below you can tap edit you can add all of these other control options down here too from 90 seconds to 45 seconds to 15 seconds recommendations plus to like add it to your like or playlist on demand or repeat and you could just simply add on to them and you could add up to six it looks like but once we get out of here just long hold on the action oops forgot to hit save there we go now if we long hold right here we have more tools so if we play a song real quick like on apple music notice how apple music controls are still right there and available and then over here you have the other additional settings without having to launch the actual app so that's why i have this on my list for the additional tools that it gives you for media controls now this next app is a free to download app and it's called Sticky Timer. And it's this app right here. The beauty about this app is I could run multiple timers all at once. And if we exit out of here, oops, let me close the previous app real quick. Uh, I forgot to mention you have to hit stop live activity for it to go away. And then we're gonna turn off music. There we go. Now we have our timer displayed on top here and it'll go by order too. So you can see all the existing timers you have run in the background. You can stop it all at once. And that's basically the entire concept to this app. Now, if you launch the app, you may see like a trial thing. Just hit the X icon and you'll see that it is for use just to use the multiple timer ability. Just however, there is a one-time purchase of this app, which you'll find it in the theme section and will lock more additional things like to add emojis and such to your timers. You can start the free trial, but then after that, it's $5. And that, it's not monthly, it's yearly. But if you tap on all plans, you can do a one-time purchase of $10 and own it for a lifetime. So if you need to run multiple timers at once, not a bad app. The next app is Apple Sport app. And from my understanding, it's only available primarily in the United States. It's not available worldwide. But the beauty about this app is if you go into your team and tap edit, you'll find many of your favorite sport teams as well as more things to follow. And by adding your sport teams, football, baseball, hockey, anything you could think of, whenever your favorite team schedule is upcoming, it'll show you right here. As you could peruse upcoming events or even previous events, it will also show you their scores. But whenever a game is going on live, your Dynamic Island will automatically be displaying the current score throughout your entire iPhone. And then since it does it all automatically, it's why I recommend this app if you're a sport fanatic. Now today is the presidential election and today is when we're gonna see the results. And right now at the time making this video, by downloading the Apple News app right here, later on throughout the day, you could opt in right above here to be able to see the results. So very similar to that sport app, here you can see who's winning and who's losing. And both these two apps are free to download. Now this next app is Dynamic Lyrics. This app is pretty cool because if you're playing music with Apple Music, you can just hit play and it will show you the lyrics right here as it plays. But if you enable the dynamic live activity, as the song plays, you can see the lyrics right here displaying on the side of the dynamic island. Now this app is a one-time purchase of $4, but if we long hold and go back into the app, and we go ahead and bring this down, you could disable live activity for the dynamic island, but you can also enable the floating window. This way the lyrics will also be playing 
So I like the fact they don't give you the option to make it so you have to buy their premium version, the full app, just to benefit off of this. But if we do go back and disable the floating window, I don't know, something about the dynamic island is kind of cool. And then of course you can also long hold and tap show lyrics. And it will show you the lyrics right there on top of your iPhone as the song plays. Although this is a slow pace uh, song, but it does change. Now real quick, if you can take two seconds to leave this video a like, I'll truly appreciate it because I like to make my videos driven by the viewers, you guys. So no integrated sponsor ads or anything like that because I'm personally <laughs> getting tired of seeing integrated ads on my YouTube videos. So if you are too, and you like to continue supporting the channel, make sure to leave this video a like and let me know so I can continue making sponsor free ad videos just like this. Now let's carry on. Now, if you need to put a lot of notes on your dynamic island, there is an app for that. It's called dynamic notes. And that is this app right below here. And the way this app works is you can stack up to three notes on top right here. So you can see we have three. And once you're satisfied with the notes you selected, enable it, go anywhere around the app. You can always tap on it right above here. And you'll be able to see your notes. You can also copy it right there and paste it somewhere else or go back to the next note by simply tapping the arrow icon. And once you're done with the note, you can just delete it. And yes, this app is free to download. But the only drawback that's worth talking about is you can only stack up to three, as it does require the premium version if you need to stack up to 10 notes. But it's a one-time purchase of $3, so no monthly subscription or annual subscription you have to subscribe to. It's just a one-time purchase and you're set. And then once you're done with your notes, you can just type in the next note right here and hit return, it'll save, and you also have the hamburger icon on the side to reorganize it. And once you're done, you can just disable, enable live activity. But let's say, for example, you are a data freak, or maybe you work somewhere that involves a lot of network tracking. Dynamic X is the name of this app, and this app is free to download, and this basically allows you to start tracking your Wi-Fi activity. So anything you're doing on your iPhone, let me go ahead and eliminate Apple Music real quick. So we have full access of the whole entire bar. There you go. You can see your up and down internet speeds. And if you long code, it will show you additional information. And it is also customizable as well. But if you like to, you can also start it to float. So just like when you're playing picture in picture, you do have the floating window you can enable and you can stop floating or stop the dynamic island on the live activity. Then if you hit the gear icon, you do have more settings right here. But if we stop this and click on it, yeah, it does have ads. It's a free to download app. But if we skip this ad, you can customize the information it can display. Like if you want your RAM memory to be displayed here or CPU, just some of these additional data are locked behind a paywall, which you could pay annually or a lifetime of $15 or monthly for $1 a month. Personal preference, but the free version itself, in my opinion, it's good enough for data freaks. But another app that gives you data information similar to this is called Lock Launcher. By opening this app, it can seem a bit overwhelming because there's so much you could do here. But to show you how to use the dynamic features, go in settings and go into the live activities, enable live activities, right? Now it launched on our dynamic island automatically. And you create between up to 10 different groups, basically profiles. But if you scroll down where it says left and right display, these are the only two you really need to know about. By selecting here, you have all these other options. So on your left display, you can monitor your battery life percentage. And on the right display, if you pause, you can see basically it shows you similar information what we were seeing on the other app that requires a pay subscription for your internet up and down, weather, temperature, your health data, like your steps. All right here, just turn on, hit allow. And then now if we get exit out here, it shows us our daily steps. And I believe I selected the battery life percentage of our iPhone. If you want to disable it from your battery stats on top here. And then of course, if you long hold, you have app shortcuts you can also customize. So you have quick access to your most used apps. But yeah, this is a really great app because all this is free compared to the previous one. It's just slightly different and more overwhelming feeling, I guess compared to the other one, as things are slightly easier to use and then just tap done. And then boom, we just customize it. Now it's showing us the temperature for the day on the right. And then on the left, we have our up and down data speeds. So that's lock launcher in a nutshell. And then lastly, if you'd like to store 
family photos or your favorite photos on your dynamic island then shelf is the app that you want to download so if you go ahead and launch it this is how the app looks like again they'll all be linked in the description so they're just a click away here you can create a shelf by typing plus you can do captions actions like shortcuts or photos and then just hit create give it access to your photo library of course and then just go in and select a photogenic photo and then select the dynamic island and go ahead and adjust it to your personal preference. It gives you a preview right there. And then just tap save. And then tap launch. And then we got to go in and actually disable this one real quick. So live dynamic and then turn off the action. There we go. Now we have a full screen. So now on our first shelf, we actually have a photo right there on the dynamic island. So there you guys have it. Those are a handful of amazing apps that are worth sharing that really do utilize the dynamic island. Let me know which one of these was your personal favorite or if you have one to recommend for everybody else. Feel free to also comment down below. My microphone's like pulling down my shirt. It looks funny. But as always, all links to these apps will be in the video description. And now if you'd like to watch the other video where I show some interesting tools that the dynamic island has built into the os i go over everything right in this video over there thank you so much for watching